In the video for today, I'm going to show you how to track a lost or stolen phone using the last known location and Google Maps history. Hello my friend, my name is Kenneth Brown. Welcome to Channel Signatech and how are we doing today? I hope fantastic. Well, if you're not, I do understand the fact that you may have misplaced your phone. So let's make this simple, quick and easy. The first thing is, I'm very sorry to hear about your phone, but it is an unfortunate incident. You cannot do anything about it. Now what we can do is try and get it back, okay, by trying to track it or whatever it is. So the first thing is in order for you to track your phone, what you need to do is get hold of a laptop or a smartphone, whatever is near to you that is connected to the internet that is online. Okay. So once you get a laptop, what we normally do is search for find hub, which is the application or website, which we need to use for an Android device to track it online. All right. So you just uh, log in with the same email address that was on the lost or stolen phone. After you log in, you click on devices, and it is going to show you all the devices that is linked to that email address, which was on the phone. So you select the device that you are wanting to track. And once you do that, your phone is going to be tracked to a specific location. You click on the pin out here. Once you do that, you get directed to this page on which you could see the exact coordinates of the phone. Now, this could be the current location of the phone or the last location. At least what you can do is uh, just rush to this location and try to see if your phone is there. It may be in a restaurant or maybe in the gym or whatever it is. Just try and see if it's available out there. And uh, if you get it back, well and good. Congratulations, you got back your phone. But if you did not get it back, it means this was the last location of your phone. Now, next thing what you have to do is copy these coordinates and keep it noted in your notepad. I mean, you could just open a notepad on an application from Google Play or whatever it is and keep it saved out there. Or what you could also do is send this information to your email address. Click on this option, send to phone. You get a pop-up like this and select your email address and all the details is going to get to your email address, the coordinates, the address and everything. Now, the other thing what you need to do is get hold of another Android device and you log into your account out there on Google Maps and check your timeline out there. Get the history from there and your phone location history along with your uh, current location you could go to the police station and try and see if these guys can help you out. Now, I do understand the fact that the local police station may not be that cooperative with you, but at least you could go ahead and give it a try. Apart from that, what you could also do is if you're in India, if you have purchased a phone in India, you could get onto a website called ceir.gov.in to block your phone and uh, track it using its IMEI number. So you could uh, click on this option, CEIR services, click on block stolen lost mobile phone, and upload the invoice and a copy of the FIR and uh, get a request ID after filling up this form. So you keep that request ID with you to keep a track of the investigation and uh, you could you know, check your request status out here on the website itself by putting in the request ID and submitting it. If it is retrieved, it is going to say as retrieved, you are going to get a communication from these guys or you could also communicate with these guys to find out how far is the investigation going. Okay. And if your phone is ever found, these guys are going to inform you about it and you could get back to this website to unblock the found mobile phone. That is also very important for you to start using it again. But the main thing is at least give it a try. You could utilize Find Hub and uh, your Google Maps location history to try and trace your device by yourself. You could get to the place and try and see if it is there. If it is not there, then you need to step up and uh, get to the authorities to get help from them. All right. But before you do that, you need to ensure that you have the invoice and a copy of the FIR or a copy of the missing complaint. But this is mostly going to work if you are in India. If you are from a different location, say Malaysia or Philippines or Thailand or USA, do a Google search for a department that caters to these type of services. So for instance, if you're in Malaysia, you could just do a search for lost phone tracking service by Malaysia government website or anything on these lines. Just put in these type of keywords and try to see for any kind of a, you know portal that these guys may have. So it seems like uh, they have a portal known as SNAF tracking mobile application. This is a website similar to CEIR in India. So if these guys can have it and India can have it, I'm very much sure, you know, if you are from a different location, your government also may have released an application or website like these. So you could just give it a try. I hope this helps and I hope you got some value. If you did, give my video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. Take care, my friend.